Hey guys and lads, and welcome to Let's Replay. So, we're here with a stupid little video because I want to talk to you guys about my favorite villagers to have on my island in Animal Crossing New Horizons. The game has just been out for over two months now and last week I passed 200 hours in gameplay time for the game so uh, I played it a bunch, I wanna say. I however know that a lot of people have been playing it for much much longer than I have. A lot of other people have also been playing it with other Animal Crossings in experience from their own gameplay. Uh, so, full disclaimer, this New Horizons one is actually my very first Animal Crossing. So, I'm a bit of a noob to the franchise, please bear with me. Uh, as you can see in my complete games collection, for example, if you look under A here, uh, I do own Animal Crossing Let's Go to the City as well, as of right now. However, I never played it, so uh, yeah, a little bit of a noob as coming to the series. For now though, uh, as said, I want to discuss villagers with you and I want to show you guys what villagers I would like to have on my and Sophie's island that we share and do everything together with. So uh, yeah, after a little bit of discussion with Sophie herself, we have, uh, we have both agreed of most of this, however I'm doing this from my own perspective, so uh, a small amount of changes have happened in regards to that. If I am not to mention your favorite villager nowhere at all, I also want to know what your favorite villagers would be that you wish to have on your island. So please, put them down below in the comments. It's just fun to see the different, different opinion people have on what villagers they want in regards to if they're cute, if they look cool, if you like the way their house look in regards to your island. Whatever it is, throw it at me, I would love to hear your guys' opinions too. So yeah, we'll just jump right into this without further ado. First villager, and I'm going in alphabetic order here. Apollo! <laughs> I would like to have Apollo on the village, I would love to have Apollo on the village, ever since I saw him on the game cover, actually. Uh, as of today, I don't have him. I should also add that me and Sophie, we aren't time traveling, so... Uh, it's a hassle to say the least. We aren't time traveling, we don't own any amiibos, don't know if we wanna get our hands on cards or amiibos as well to make it easier for us. As of now we're struggling because we have visited <laughs> during two full days as of now we have visited a lot of islands whenever we have had villagers leave and we haven't found any of the villagers we actually want on our island. So yeah, Apollo I think would be awesome. I wanna place him high up on a cliff on the mountains far north on our island, living there as sort of his own thing, as, as an adventurer, so to speak, because that's how I view him. I love the design, uh, it took a while for me before I realized that he actually has some sort of jacket on, <laughs> uh, but of course he has, because all of the animals have clothes in the game. However, in regards to his body shape, everything, I, I just love the way he looks, and we are mostly gonna talk design-wise today, because I don't know too much of the personalities. As I've said, I'm a noob at the franchise itself, so as of now, we are going on mostly the design alone. We have a few exceptions we get, or I'll let you know rather, when we get to them. So Apollo is the very first one. I'm not saying that I want him the most, we're taking this alphabetically. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool. That's the one I knew first that I wanted on our island. And as of right now, we don't have him as of yet. Next one we want is Bow. Uh, really, really cute. This picture here on the Animal Crossing card doesn't really do him justice. Uh, but a really cute one that I would love to have on the village. Uh, also as the only deer villager. Uh, because that's another thing we want to go with. We want to have 10 different type of animals, I can say that right away, <laughs> on our island. So uh, yeah, Bo is the cheapest the cheapest, uh, definitely the cutest among these dear ones in our joint opinion. Uh, so yeah, real cute and we would like to add him to our island, we do not have him today. As said before, there's only three we actually have today that we want on the island. Uh, next one coming up is Carrie. Uh, I apologize for the card here being from New Leaf, uh, it's a little bit hard to see what she's all about, however, 
the second villager, I believe, if I remember correctly, that actually joined our island. So the reason for us to want to have Carrie on the island is simply that we have both, me and Sophie, gotten to know her, and we really, really like her as a character. It feels nice having sort of a motherly figure on the island as well. Uh, so as you can see on her pouch there, she has a child as well, which never is mentioned or acts like a character of its own. So uh, we have agreed on calling the child Carl. So we have Carrie and Carl on our island as of now. Uh, we have also looked upon other kangaroos and she definitely, definitely, in our opinion, is the cutest one. So uh, yeah, really enjoy having her there. Uh, she's actually my very best friend on the island, the first one to become a best friend on the island, even though, as I said, she wasn't a starter, I don't even know if she can be. Uh, so yeah, a big place in my Animal Crossing heart, definitely. The first one I really, really got to like. Uh, so yeah, fun fact, I guess. She also was the one uh, planning out my birthday and whatever happened there. I don't want to spoil what happens on your birthday, but I have had my real birthday just eight days ago, so when this is being recorded, of course. And uh, yeah, she was the one planning everything. She dressed up, she looked fabulous. It all was so, so awesome. Uh, next one we want is Gala. Hope I'm not butchering any of the names here. Uh, Gala, I mean, just look at her. She is so Freakishly cute, <laughs> very adorable, and we really would like to add her on her island, mostly for that fact, as of, actually. She's so very cute, sadly normal type as well, I think we're up to three normal types on, on the entire island. We'll see when we get there, we see if we ever get there, because it seems to be so hard. But yeah, really cute characters, really love those eyes, they really, really... They really give you a lot of personality, I think, and it goes so well with how how adorable she looks as a whole character. Don't have too much else to say there, it's just that she's super cute with her eyes and with the flowers around her left ear there, for example. So yeah, real cool. Uh, next one we're getting to is Hornsby. Uh, Hornsby is also a character that today is living on our island, and he is doing that because he was the very first to actually move to our island. Um, we found him when we didn't know how hard it would be to replace villagers and such. So we just gladly accepted him. He was blue, he looked very happy. A little bit on the lazy side, but that's cool. He was uh, very endearing to us, looked both cute, both, I don't know, nice. I, for one, greatly appreciate that design. So yeah, he moved in and we have just gotten to love him due to his personality. So he is very, very welcome to stay for as long as we be playing Animal Crossing. Looks really cool. Uh, I'm not in love with his house though, uh, but I can live with that because the villager in my mind comes before the house. So uh, yeah. I'm hoping that maybe we can give him some flooring and he will be using that instead of what he has right now, actually. We'll see when we get there. However, uh, this became our, even though Carrie may slightly, almost, I think, uh, be topping my list uh, in regards to villagers I know right now, Hornsby is a very, very close second and I think he's the first one we really, really knew we liked. Carrie has kind of grown on me. So yeah, moving on to the next one, which is Maple. Here I think we have our last normal type. I hope this is our last normal type. Uh, very, very cute. I also very much appreciate when I learned that she has been with the series from the very beginning. And I don't know, may only be my weird mind, but I feel like it would be really cool to have a character that has been there from the start as well. So Maple, not much other to say than she's super cute, looks like a cuddly teddy bear that you just want to hug, and that is just awesome to have on your island when you want to stress down, having a relaxed, easy day with your villagers. So yeah. Uh, next one coming up is Marshall. I know Marshall is a huge favorite among mother, mother, among many players, uh, along with Raymond, actually. Uh, however, I think 
both Sophie and I agree on Marshall actually being a little, little bit about Raymond in regards to his cuteness. That fluffy tail is just so adorable. We've seen uh, one video on YouTube where a person went to Marshall which was crafting and he was so happy giving over his recipe that he started to waggle his tail and it was just so freakishly adorable. So really love <laughs> the little bangs he has going on there. Really love the eyes, the vest, the cheeks, the tail almost about everything so yes we really both wish that we could get him as soon as possible to our joint island and next one coming up is Octavian and Octavian is one that we actually have left to be during two visits to random islands uh, two times we've seen him there uh, first time Sophie just quite didn't care too much for his design and therefore we left him. Uh, I regretted that and here just a day ago we found him again and sadly left him again because we do have other joint villagers that we think we want to have instead. I don't know, for me I think he's a favorite, I think if I were to have the island by myself I think I would have Octavian because I really like the design. It looks so adorably cute with those puffy cheeks. Uh, however, as of now, we have both agreed that, uh, I mean, I can't be <laughs> selecting all of the villagers, obviously. So you maybe can see him as sort of an honorable mention. We are coming into three honorable mentions after my top 10 favorites. Um, one of those honorable mentions is actually gonna be switched out, probably, for Octavian. I'll let you know which one, but if it were my island and my island alone, I would probably go with Octavian there, because I've loved both encounters I've had with him. So, uh, next to come up here, we have Roald. And Roald, I mean, we both just saw those eyes and how empty they were and fell in love with how he looks. Uh, he is, our opinion, definitely the cutest penguin and that is the plain reason to why we would like to have him on the island. Uh, we're also hoping to be able to find uh, a plain white eggshell to have as a hat, because if we do we intend to give it to Roald and think he would look so freakishly cute with that egg on his head too. So yeah, uh, definitely a favorite. One of the first ones after, I think, I think the first one after Apollo that I myself knew that yes, yes, I want this guy on our island. So yeah, not on our island as of now, sadly, hopefully in the near future. And the very last one here, Tybalt. The one and only tiger that we felt has been... Well, there are a bunch of tigers that actually look kind of cool too, but Tybalt is also one that uh, we found on an island and just said, what the heck, he looks fine, let's take him in. And uh, his job personality and how into training it is has really, really helped us out in uh, starting to fall in love with him. Uh, we, at the very beginning, had uh, Tammy, and we have Genji on our island. Genji has uh, sadly moved away, which wasn't too much of a loss to us since Tybalt came in and it it became like Tybalt is the one who really, really likes to train, to work out, to build up his muscles, while Genji was more talking about how he wanted to do that, but never really pulled through on it. So uh, yeah, we said goodbye to Genji because Tybalt simply was a better fit for our island instead of having them both on. So, we're coming into the last three honorable mentions here. Uh, we're going with the very first one, which is Goose. <laughs> uh, a character, I don't know, I quite like the chicken design of all of the characters. I mean, uh, their body shape, how they look. I really, really like that, and Goose is the one I mostly have fallen in love with, both in regards to a certain game that we recently have played on our Twitch, uh, but also ju just the fact of the design. I really like him, I don't know how he is as a character, but design-wise I have really been struggling to push him down from the 10 that is about to come to our island. However, 
Me myself really really like the design. If you have a Mori Island, I think you should be considering yourself very very lucky. Uh, second honorable mention and second to last one is Molly. Molly is just super cute, super tender, and uh, yeah, Molly is probably the one we're gonna have on our island instead of Octavian, which I'm completely fine with because she is so freaking adorable too. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I don't think I have too much else to say. She looks really really good in game with her color combinations and her just being so little, so cute, just makes your heart melt, I'll tell ya. Uh, so yeah, last honorable mention coming in is Whitney. Uh, the only, well one of two wolves that I think look fine and uh, the fact that she's a white wolf and the fact that her name is Whitney has really made her win me over in regards to this. Uh, so yeah, we're probably not gonna want to have her, her on her island, however she really really is looking cute and uh, yeah, that is why she's instead is an honorable mention here on this list. Uh, so yeah, this has not been like a ten in top list of any sort. Uh, as I said before, I'm just mentioning them as they come alphabetically. Uh, however, these are my favorite villagers that I've gotten to see so far. Once more, I'm talking like a noob who hasn't experienced their personalities and stuff, so this list may come and change whenever we get further into this. However, uh, really loving the game thus far. There are a lot of things that I would like to see improved with it. However, as of now, I'm having a great time with it, still 200 hours, 200 hours in, which uh, yeah, just makes me feel that I've definitely gotten my money's worth thus far. I do not plan to stop playing this for a long time, however, <laughs> that day obviously will come too. For now though, really appreciate it, really, really glad to having... Yeah, having this available to play during these testing times we're all in right now. Uh, this has been me and Isabel, <laughs> I guess, signing off. Thank you very much for joining. Please, guys, hit the comments down below. Let me know your favorite villagers. Let me know how you feel about the game thus far. And uh, yeah, if you want to help me out, I would love for you guys to throw out a subscription. Let me, uh, yeah, let me experience, let me experience and evolution a little bit here on our channel. Let us grow, let us become uh, a little bit bigger on YouTube and uh, yeah, maybe also watch me on Twitch. Uh, on Twitch where I may stream Animal Crossing or other games, mostly based on the Switch right about now, but otherwise uh, based on retro gaming as well, so yeah. Come on over, have a great time. Uh, other than that, stay super, thank you very much for your support, I really appreciate that. Have a great rest of your day, make sure to wash your hands, stay safe, and uh, yeah, let's play ourselves through this. Take care guys, bye.